Hello, Soto Seconds. It's Carmen Cassinger from the Chicago Philharmonic again. We're gonna uh, work a new section this um, this time from bar 29 in the Adagio Cantabile through bar 36. Um, but before we do that, I just wanna review what we worked on on the first two videos. The first video we um, talked about, the first section, which was pizzicato, the plucking. And I taught you to hold your bow and put your thumb against your tailpiece. I mean, not tailpiece, a fingerboard on the corner and use that fleshy part of your finger over the fingerboard to get the best sound you can. Right? Nice and rich sound. And then the other thing that we talked about was playing fast and light bow for things that we want to uh, play softly. So... That next section at bar nine, fast and light, right? Right, fast and light when you play softly. And then in great contrast, heavy and slow when we want to play loud with our bow because remember the bow makes all the noise so in the next section bar 17 we heavy and slow bow for our big solo entrance and then soft and light right and then also in this section we worked hard on on measure 24 their chromatic work let me play it for you again So the thing about these, the way that we address each of these sections is because this particular movement from the Patatique Sonata by Beethoven is a theme in variations. And in order to help you fall in love with this piece, because you have to, because it's just so beautiful, um, I'd like you to listen to it. I'm going to include a, a link to a recording uh, on the piano and the original instrumentation is just piano sonata, just piano, uh, with Daniel Barenboim playing. He is the former conductor of the Chicago Symphony and he's a wonderful pianist. This piece is sort of um, maybe just, in, just one of the most filled with unfulfilled longing, you know what I mean? I think I hope you enjoyed it, it's beautiful, but listen to it a few times because you'll hear your part. And a theme and variation means it's like the song, there's the tune, we've played it many times already and heard it, but um, he varies it with in key, like he'll start it once in C, he'll start it once in G. Um, he also varies it with rhythm. And so this next section that we're about to hit today He's playing it in a different rhythm. He's playing it in triplets. So blueberry, blueberry, as opposed to the duple that we played before. Pizza, pizza, or peanut butter, peanut butter, right? So here we are with our blueberry section. Um, I think we're gonna warm up today with our G major scale with blueberry as the rhythm, okay? So first we'll try it. Oh, let's do our long bows to get started. So set that beautiful bow hold that I know you all have. We'll play four long bows on each string. Good chance for you to make sure you're in tune with me, okay? G first. <laughs> G major, two octave scale that we've been working on, but this time with this rhythm. Blueberry, blueberry. I'll play it first and then come back and you can join me.
back down. We're subdividing in triplets, but we have a slur, the blueberry, the first two notes are slur. Let me show you how it goes. Blueberry, blueberry, blueberry. Join me. Blueberry, blueberry. this we realize that uh, in our next section that that theme and variations we're playing the tune but it's only in the first of every three notes it's just the blue part okay so take a look at bar 29 um, you'll see we've got the tune happening but it's only the first note of every three so I'm gonna play for you just the first note of every three I want you to follow along okay follow along where you're joining me. First note of every three for these three bars. Ready? Go. Okay, now all I have to do is just add the other notes. For most of it, it's just an open D. I'll play it a little bit and then you'll join me. Listen. Let's try it together. Sorry, I'm really going flat. Try that together. Blueberry, blueberry. together but I want to grab the next section because we get the really ultimate juiciness here this measure this is 32 that we just got to the D the note following is a D sharp so just play that with a really high third finger so we have our third finger down right and then we slide it up a half step to the D sharp I'll play it for you then you play it high four is close to it sharp that high three again but on the D string okay that much let's try it together ready go third finger D sharp Then the 
next bit is we go back to our blueberry rhythm. Blueberry, blueberry. <laughs> It's a tricky measure, measure, right? Watch out, just low two for the C natural. And then we have to go across to the E string for the last beat. F sharp, first finger, back to three, two, one. Okay, let's try this together. One, two, three, blueberry. <laughs> let's try it again. Blueberry, blueberry. If you take a look at it just for a second, just to help you out, look at the first beat and second beat. It's an A to the C natural and then an E to the C natural. Okay? So if you keep your two down, you're safe. O, two, two, four, two, two. Then the third and the fourth beat also are very similar. It goes to your third finger. It goes A to the D, third finger, and then one F sharp back to the D, third finger. Let me play it for you. Three, one, three. Let's try that measure all together. Blueberry, blueberry. So let's run this whole section from 29 through 36 as written. Blueberry, blueberry. I look forward to the next one. Bye.